What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to be guiding you through the Song of the Sands favor in God of War Ragnarok. Now, you're probably going to want to complete the Secret of the Sands before you do this, and I have another guide for that if you haven't done it. But for this favor, the Song of the Sands, I am going to be showing you how to unlock the quest. I'll be showing you how to complete the quest with all of its puzzles and getting any loot during the quest. So before you can unlock the Song of the Sands favor, you need to progress in the main quest far enough to complete the Reckoning quest. After this quest, you're going to have to interact with this lock here, and by doing so, Freya is going to enchant Kratos' chisel. This will now give you the ability to use this chisel on these locks, and you need that ability to unlock the Song of the Sands favor. So with the Reckoning quest complete, you just want to head to Alfheim via a Mystic Gateway. Now, assuming you've completed the Secret of the Sands favor, you'll have this Mystic Gateway here at the Canyons Unlocked, so just fast travel there. If you haven't done the Secret of the Sands, you're just going to have to fast travel to the Strand Gateway, make your way up to Sindri at this gateway to unlock it, and complete the Secret of the Sands favor first. Once done, you can do this favor, the Song of the Sands. Now once here, the best thing that you can do is track another favor because you would have unlocked this after the reckoning as well. This is unlocked naturally and it's the Elven Sanctum. This is going to take you to the exact same area where you need to be to start the Song of the Sands favor. So just track this and you'll see it on your map. Just bring up your map and you can see it's all the way in the distance over here. The toll that you got at the end of the reckoning is going to allow you to enter this area. So just come out of the map and hop on your transport and follow that quest marker. You'll reach this doorway and they'll discuss about another Halgafer because of the storm. So we're going to just interact with this plate here to open the doorway. Just interact with the letters and the door will open. Head back on your transport and proceed. You'll pass another Mr. Gateway, just continue straight on. And once in the main area, the Song of the Sands favor will automatically be added to your goals. So now you can just bring up your map, head over to your goals, and you no longer need to track the Alvin Sanctum, unless you want to go and do that anyway. You can now track the Song of the Sands. Come back out to your map, and you'll notice where the quest marker is pretty much right in front of you, so just head there. It is hard to see because of all this sandstorm, but you're looking for this object here with torches on the front to the left and the right pillar. You bring up the map, you're pretty much on the marker. Once you've found it, just head inside. Climb down the wall to the bottom and it will start the Song of the Sands favor. You'll notice this right away, which you've got to use your Sonic Arrow to get through. So just press L2. Uh, just make sure you press up on the D-pad if the Sonic Arrows aren't equipped and press square. Once inside, there's a path to the left that you can't do anything with. So just go straight ahead and swing across and then you want to drop down. Once down, you're going to find some hack silver behind you. Collect that and before moving forward, you just want to use your sonic arrows on this object in front of you here This is going to open it up like a curtain press square again And that will remove the blockage from the next path. So just jump across and then you'll be able to proceed As you progress and grapple ahead just don't miss this red coffin down below you're gonna have two options you can uh, Grapple across or grapple down. Just grapple down, down first to get the red coffin. Once collected, you can grapple back up and continue. Once you reach this area with the reflective floor, you just want to aim your axe at that and it's going to hit this dense material in front of you to remove it. You can now progress, drop down, and there'll be some wretches that you've got to deal with. Just push forward, killing the wretches, because there's a hive at the end here. You've got to destroy the hive before the wretches stop spawning. But once the hive is destroyed, just head backwards, because there is a hack silver chest that you can get in right next to where you drop down. With the chest collected, push back forward, and next to where you destroyed the hive, you can grapple up to continue. In this next area, there are some more enemies, so you're just going to need to deal with these first. With all the enemies clear, and just starting from the point where we came into the area, you can drop down the ledge to the left to find this rune reed. Uh, 
and from this just head right to continue on the path you'll have to squeeze through this doorway once through just look left you're gonna notice a red coffin to get to this you'll notice this gold item in the distance just throw your axe to spin that round because it's going to reveal a reflective mirror and with that call your axe back throw it against the mirror to destroy the matter and with the matter destroyed just drop down the ledge and go and collect your red coffin with that collected just turn around and proceed by dropping down the next ledge once on the lower platform you may have noticed this hanging basket just above you hit that for some loot and then we need to get rid of this matter in the center just come to the left of it and you're going to notice that you're able to use a sonic arrow to uncover a mirror right in front of us here. So get your axe ready, press square with the sonic arrow and throw your axe to get rid of this matter. We can now proceed past this area by just grappling across. Grapple back up top and then you'll be able to grapple down below. Just keep pushing forward and you're eventually going to drop down into this area here. There's going to be a lot of enemies, so just take care of them. With all the enemies defeated, there's no other loot here apart from some hack silver. Just climb up this ledge near to where you came in. And it's just on the ground in the corner here next to the dead elf. From here, we can just proceed forward, drop down the ledge and climb this wall. You'll come up to this blocked area and just like with the other mission, The Secret of the Sands, we've got some red vine ball puzzles. So we're going to have to solve these. Notice the hanging basket though to the left before we do this. Just knock that down for some loot. And from here, this is the position you want to be in to get rid of these hive bulbs. Just get your axe. Take aim and make sure it hits all three of them. That area unblocked, you can climb back up and proceed. Once in this area, we now have to free the half guffer. Now to do that, just look There's left as soon stone. as you enter the area and use the trilight stone to get rid of this dense matter. With that gun, we can swing across. With the axe in hand from here, you just want to look up to the right from where we landed. We're going to see the three red vine bulbs and we need to destroy them. There's nothing obvious that we can use to do that apart from we've got this like sonic arrow curtain that I'm going to call here. So use the sonic arrow. Behind will be a reflective mirror. Use the axe quickly to destroy the three red vine bulbs. <laughs> Now that is done, we just want to grapple back across to where we came in. And then look up from here and we've got some more red vine bulbs all in line with each other. Get your axe, take aim, make sure it's at the right angle and fire. And then swing back to the other area again. And you'll be able to line your shot up right for the final red vine bulbs. Just line it up and throw. From here, just swing back across and we're able to push forward into a new area. Drop down for an enemy encounter. With the enemies dead, there's some loot to get before proceeding. You've got this hack silver on the right here. From that, there's an artifact over to the left. Apart. Used in many... And from the artifact, obviously, there's the legendary chest. <clears throat> Just right of the legendary chest is a wall to climb to continue. At the top of this wall, just drop down the ledge to the left here to find a hack silver chest. With that collected, jump back up. And head left to climb another wall. Once at the top, you're going to reach a blocked area. Just climb up this ledge. It'll appear that there's nothing to do. But you do have some of that, like dense material that you can break through by using a reflective mirror just look to the left here and you want to aim your axe so that it bounces off that one to the second one and now go over to uncover a wall with the wall uncovered we can press circle to grapple across on the top area here there'll be a red coffin 
From the red coffin, you want to turn around and we need to uncover the wall to our left here. Notice the reflective mirrors and this gold object. With the gold object, just hit the right paddle twice. And you'll notice you uncover this reflective mirror here. With that uncovered, just hit the reflection to the left so it goes onto that and that will uncover the wall. Again, you can now press circle to grapple across and climb up to the top. You need to press circle one more time to break through this wall. You might notice that you're back at the start of the area. You just need to swing across and there'll be an elf to fight as you exit. With the elf defeated, you can now just proceed to climb out of this cave. Once out of the cave, you just want to bring up your map and you'll notice that the quest marker has moved slightly. Just get on your transport and head to this marker. Hey. It's pretty much rare you exited the cave, to be honest with you. It's very close by. You're looking for this object here. You can see the red light. And just like with the secret of the sand's favor, you want to interact with this to finish the favor. So just press circle on it. You want to keep on tapping circle and you'll enter a cutscene to finish the favor. And that is the end of this video and walkthrough. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do like, share, and subscribe to support. Go check out my video description now and my pinned comment for a playlist of more favors that you can complete with walkthroughs. And there's more walkthroughs in the video description too. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe and peace out.